North Hunsey Dublin is where I'm from, and uh, it's almost a separate county from South Hunsey Dublin. This is how the wild up here, and uh, a lot of South Hunsey people wouldn't dream of crossing <laughs> the river. But we know the beauty of it. this place is, is a special place of part of my heart anyway. I really love it. Yeah. It really is. We're, we're looking out into the Irish Sea right here. And as you said uh, a moment ago, you can you can see a lighthouse. You can see the Moor Mountains as well up to the north. The Moor Mountains up north. And you can see Rochabel Lighthouse out here. Right. And there's a local saying that on a good day, you can see Rochabel. And on a bad day, you can see England. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the Dublin team from 1969, which was the first year I went into UCD, Purdue Medicine, and it had no profile among the UCD students. Right. So I was playing a third team in, in college, as they call them, so they were playing at a higher level than I was playing senior football for Dublin. So I went to see a match. Now, I, I watched rugby, and I knew about rugby. And I, I made a statement uh, that in, in six weeks, I would be on the first team in UCD. That this went right up their noses because you know, they had been trying from childhood to get on the horrors team in UCD. Anyway, I, I did it for six weeks and I made it. <laughs> <laughs> Much to their annoyance, I think, they never forgave me for it. But the, the standard GA was way ahead at the time, way ahead in terms of fitness, physicality, and uh, athleticism. The Irish rugby team wouldn't hold any handle for it. It's an unbelievable success story. How how Gaelic games managed to take hold in places that fifty years ago literally did not exist. Well, I think the greatest legacy of our team was that we prevented Wimbledon FC locating to Dublin. <laughs> you prevented them. How yeah. so? In nineteen seventy four, there was no rugby in Dublin. There was no soccer in Dublin, and there was no daily football team worth following in Dublin. Yeah. And at the time, there was talk of the franchise. Dublin had a population, Dublin had sport lad supporters, and they had no team. They were going to provide Vinnie Jones and his fellow adults to play here on a weekly basis, every second week. And we prevented that. And I think that's the greatest service that that Dublin team did to Ireland. Yes, it's, it's remarkable. That's, and do you think there was a direct correlation? People finally had something to believe in. Absolutely. I mean, they had their Strefford End experience on the hill. And it, it was wild enough now in those days. Yes. It, it was rough enough too. Uh, but they could, they could get their whole experience at home. 